Welcome back friends. In this video, we will do hands-on with CloudWatch metrics and alarm. Let's go to the CloudWatch console. First, we will learn CloudWatch metrics. Let's click on the metrics on the left side panel and click on all metrics. Here we have all the metrics that CloudWatch has been created in my account. I have EBS metrics, EC2 metrics, Lambda, S3, SNS, SQS metrics, and transcribe metrics. I used Amazon transcribe service recently. Its metrics are also displayed here. Additionally, there are usage metrics and logs metrics. Your metrics dashboard may look different depending on your what services you have used in your account. For example, if I click on SQS, I can find SQS metrics. If I select the number of message received metric, I can find one data point. Similarly, if I select the number of message sent, I can see one data point. Other metrics are also available such as sent message size, number of messages deleted, and so on. So you can get lots of metrics of SQS. Let me look now EC2 metrics. Let me click on per instance metrics. For example, if I click on the network packets out metric, it displays its metric. Similarly, I can find other metrics as well. Now we will learn how to set up CloudWatch alarm. On the left side, click alarms and then all alarms. Click on create alarm. Next is select metric. Click on select metric. Here let's find the CPU utilization of the EC2 instance metric. Click on select metric. So we have different settings, average, sum, maximum, minimum, etc. We will keep it simple. So the default selection average is fine. For the period, five minutes is fine. This means CloudWatch will make available the average CPU utilization metric over intervals of five minutes. Here is the conditions panel. We are setting up conditions here. If CPU utilization is greater than 85%, then click on next, set up an alarm and send me a notification. Now for notification, you can select an existing topic or create a new topic or topic ARN to notify other accounts. Let me create a new topic. The topic name is pre-populated, which is fine. For email endpoints, let me enter my email address. Let's create this alarm. Now, anytime when CPU utilization crosses over 85%, an alarm state will be triggered and will send a notification to this SNS topic. The SNS then will send an email to the email address that I have provided. This is very cool. We also have other options. Instead of sending emails, we can set up auto scaling by setting up auto scaling group to launch additional EC2 instances. Or we can add EC2 actions, for example, stop the instance, terminate the instance, and so on. Or we can set up systems manager action. But to keep this tutorial simple, the email notification is fine. Click on next. Let me enter a name here. CloudWatch demo alarm. Click on next. As you can see, the red line is the alarm threshold and the blue dot is the actual value. Click on Create Alarm. The alarm has been created. There is another way to set up an alarm for EC2 instances. Let me go to my running EC2 instance. Under the Monitoring tab, as you can see, you have lots of information about running EC2 instances, such as CPU utilization, status check, and so on. Lots of information. What we can do, we can add an alarm directly here to this EC2 instance. Go to the EC2 instances, click on the plus button under alarm status. Here we are going to create an alarm for notification. We are going to say that notification should go to this topic, which we created earlier. Then we need to set up alarm action. There are quite a few options here. Let's select reboot EC2 instance. For alarm thresholds, for the type of data to sample, select CPU utilization and 99%. What I'm setting up, I'm saying when utilization crosses 99%, reboot the EC2 instance. As you can see, this is very handy to set up an alarm for CloudWatch directly from EC2. Click on create. Now I have created an alarm for this EC2 instance. I have two alarms on this instance. Now if I go to the CloudWatch console, click on all alarms, there are two alarms. Now you can also create billing alarm. If you do not see the billing alarm, you will have to set your region to US East, Northern Virginia, 
which is US East 1 region. Click on Billing Alarm. Amazon CloudWatch can help you monitor the charges on your AWS bill by sending you alerts when charges exceed a threshold you define. Let's create an alarm. Here we need to specify a metric name, which is default populated as estimated charges. And here I can specify, for example, if the charges exceed 10 USD, then trigger an alarm and then send notifications to a topic. I can use the existing topic and click on next. Let me enter the name for this alarm, test billing alarm. And the billing alarm is set now. Remember that the billing alarm is only available in the US East one region. As you can realize, with CloudWatch alarms, we can do lots of automation, such as getting email notifications when AWS charges are exceeding your budgeted amount, or you would like to launch additional instances or terminate or reboot EC2 instances. These are some examples. There are lots of automation we can do. This is a very useful service. Let's do cleanup. Go to alarm, delete them. Go to SNS. Delete the topics that you created for the tutorial. Go to the EC2 instance and terminate the instance. That's it for this hands-on. I hope you learned how to set up CloudWatch alarms.